Hello, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Rafael. How are you? How have you been feeling? Uh, um, not bad. <laughs> not bad. Are you getting better right now? Um, or it's the same? Um, uh, a, a li little bit. A little but, bit better. But... Um, uh, I'm I'm here. Uh, <laughs> you're, you're here right anyway, right? Very good. Uh will you be able to participate? Let's say if we need to practice the conversation or anything, or will you be listening only? <coughs> only listen because I uh <coughs> Yes, I can see. I can see, no problem. Yes. Yeah, just listening. Yes, you are really sick, kind of. But uh, hopefully you are going to get better for next week because next week is our next, uh, last week, right? We finished the module, you see. It's uh, really fast. It was really fast, actually. So um, uh, we're about to start right now. We are going to review a little bit of what we studied yesterday about phrasal verbs. Uh, good evening, Nady. How are you? Nady, are you there? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Nady? I'm fine. Okay, I'm glad you heard that. Okay, are you ready for uh, English class today? Uh, excuse me are you ready for english class yes yes okay perfect so we are going to begin right now uh, because we have a lot of activities we are going to finish section four and next week we are going to have section five right we are going to finish with everything um before beginning the class i guess that some of you have studied already or have you have completed already section four and section five? And I don't know if you have any question, any doubt. I was able to check the group in WhatsApp and you were having some questions. So I don't know if any of you have any questions right now, any doubt about section four? Examen final teacher. Final exam. Okay, let's see. Yes. This is section four. Let's go to final mm -hmm. exam. Let's see. Okay. Um. What is the part that you're having issues with? Um. Section C. Section C. Probably this one. Complete the sentences, right? Um. Yes. Um. Uh, Part three. Part three. Okay, part three. It says instructions complete the predictions um, with will, the future continuous, or the future perfect. Just type the verb in its correct tense. Do not type the entire sentence. So just the verb, right? Replace, for example. Sophisticated robots replace many factory workers in a uh, near future so in, in this and case it says will replace, will replace. Right? Yes. yes number two tablet computers will be used in every home will right? be used will be used oh, yes three you won't need won't need a keyboard because they'll all be touch screen activated Number four, later in this century, people won't be living, be living in houses that are heated with oil. And the last one, within 50 years, scientists will have discovered a cure for the common call. Let's see if everything is correct. We'll have discovered. Let's see. Yes. 
yes, yeah, something is not working here. Let's see what is the problem. Copy the copy the symbol in Dale and use it in in o sea el que está en because Dale el el símbolo para la contracción ese copia lo y pégalo en lugar del símbolo que ocupa para want. This apostrophe. Sí, el apóstrofe en Dale, ahí en el enunciado de la tres. This one, I need to... Sí. Really? I cannot do it. Let me see here if I'm able to do it. Probably the whole word, right? Let's see. Just the apostrophe, right? Yes. Okay. Let's see. Ah, uh, probably is another character. Yes, the character is the problem. This is a, like another apostrophe, something like that, something different. Yes, you see, is the character here is kind of different because I'm using the apostrophe in my keyboard but if you copy the one that is here, as uh, Cesar said, uh, or Rodrigo, sorry, uh, then uh, you will be able to get it correct. W why is that? Probably it's because of the characters, right? But yeah, that is the problem. Actually, the, the, the answer was correct, but it was the character, the apostrophe, the one that you have to copy from this sentence. Okay, thank you very much. That's great. That's a big help, actually. Thank you, teacher. Um, sí, era ese problema el apóstrofe porque ya había probado también así y no me había salido. Pero yes, yo lo, lo digitaba así del teclado. Y del yes. Dubai. Yes, exactly. It was correct, but it was the character. It's a problem with the platform. We need to check that with. Um, I will. I will write it down and I will. I will check if they are able to fix that because nobody knows that, right? And how how are you going to know that you have to copy and paste the apostrophe from the sentence, right? So it's number three and number four from C3, right? C part three. C Mira, part... Pero el que investigó eso es científico porque a quién se le va a ocurrir que copiar el, el apóstrofe de, de ahí mismo. Exactly. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have thought about that, right? No, nunca hubiera pensado eso. Pero sí, es 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 algo relacionado con los caracteres. Con. But very good, very good. Finally, we are able to to have it correct. Perfect. Do you have any question about the final exam or any doubt? Any question about the platform? Any other question? No more questions? Okay, perfect. So we are going to try to finish section four. If we are not able to complete everything, we have also next week. Next week will be our last week, right? So uh, it's going to be really fast, actually, from now on. Uh, section B. Sorry? Uh, per, perdón, en la section B, please. Del examen. Section B, uh, this sí? one. Uh, section B, correct the mistake. Um, Part number one. three. Part one, number three. Part, uh, correct. Part one, number three. Do you know where Eliza can have her driver's license renew? Okay, very good. In this case, let's see here. It's renew the problem. Ah. I will write it down. Do you know yes. where mm. Eliza can have her driver yeah. license ah. renewed right the past participle of renew ah, is okay. renewed right and then yes. question mark let's thank see thank you teacher thank you thank you thank you let's see do you know where, why is it wrong something's wrong here probably the apostrophe again right yes let's try ah. let's try with the apostrophe let's try okay. let's see
driver's license renewed. Let's see if everything is correct here. Renewed, okay. You see, probably it's the apostrophe. Now it's correct. Yes. Okay, if you have any problem with that, you already know that is the apostrophe, right? If if everything is correct and it's still incorrect, try to copy the apostrophe. I will write that also here in part B. The question three, right? Okay, perfect. That is the final exam. Yes, I will I will report that because nobody knows about this and probably you will have problems if you don't complete the platform and this is not your fault. Uh, any other question? Any other doubt? No, teacher. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Now we're going to um, continue with phrasal verbs, right? Uh, yesterday we were studying phrasal verbs and we are going to practice a conversation with phrasal verbs, in other words, just to review. Yesterday, we were uh, studying three uh, par phrasal verbs, right? With three particles. So we have, I run out of milk, run out. Run out of is like, you don't have it anymore. Break up with, right? To end a romantic relationship with someone. Come up with, to think of something such as an idea or a plan, right? So, uh, look forward to, to be excited for something, keep up with, move or progress at the same speed as someone or something, get along with, to have a good relationship with someone, cut down on, to reduce the quantity of something, put up with, to tolerate something you don't like, take care of, to be responsible for someone or something, and we have also the conversation, right? This is the conversation that we were going to practice right now. Uh, I will need volunteers, but first of all, we are going to check the vocabulary and then pronunciation, okay? So it says, are you going to Lena's party tonight? No, I don't think so. I don't really feel up to it. You haven't been going out so much, uh, going out much since you broke up with Carter. I guess not. He's friends with all my friends, you know. You need to meet new people. Have you thought about joining a running club? You love running. I've thought about that, but they meet at 6 a.m. I'm not really a morning person. Well, maybe you could take part in our singing group. I've made a lot of good friends there. I don't think so. Remember when we did karaoke? I can't carry a tune to save my life. Yeah, I remember. Well, I guess you'd better get used to waking up early. Just think of all the cute guys who go running in the park in the morning. Very good. Perfect. So uh, did you find any new word, any question in this conversation? Preguntas de la conversación, alguna palabra que no sepan? Any feel new up word? Feel up to it. Feel up to it. It says, no, I don't think so. I don't really feel up to it. Feel up to is another phrasal verb. And it's like, um, I don't feel like doing it, right? I don't feel the, como no tengo ganas. I don't really feel up to it. So feel up to is another phrasal verb. No me siento bien, Berlín. Feel up to it. Another one. Another one? No. Another question? Broke up es terminar, ¿verdad? Exactly. Bro break up with, right? That is the verb, phrasal verb. Break up with is to enter a relationship with someone. Exactly. Teacher, uh, I can carry a tune. What is the meaning? I can carry a tune to save my life. Um, uh, for example, I can carry, es como que no puedo llevar, ¿verdad? O no puedo mm -hmm. realizar algo. Pero aquí, I can carry a tune to save my life, es como que no puedo mantener el tono, ¿verdad? Because they were singing in a karaoke. So I can carry mm -hmm. a tune to save my life. No puedo cantar entonado, algo así. Ah, uh, okay. Thank you. 
Exacto. No puedo llevar una melodía como para, ni para salvar mi vida, como, como, como decir, si eso dependiera para salvar mi vida, me morí. Ajá, exactly, exactly. I can carry a tune to save my life. Exactly. So uh, actually that is the expression, it's an expression. Another one, another question. <clears throat> no more questions, everything is clear? Yep. Okay, now we are going to listen to the conversation and now pay attention to the pronunciation, pay attention to the intonation and also uh, the words, right? Try to imitate, try to imitate the way they speak. Let's see here. I think I have it here. Let me know if you're able to listen. If you cannot listen, please also let me know, right? Let's see. I can't carry a tune. Part A. Listen and... Sí, escuchamos bien. Okay, can you listen? Okay, very good. Let's, I will play it again. Area tune. Part A. Listen and practice. Are you going to Lena's party tonight? No, I don't think so. I don't really feel up to it. You haven't been going out much since you broke up with Carter. I guess not. He's friends with all my friends, you know. You need to meet new people. Have you thought about joining a running club? You love running. I've thought about that but they meet at 6 a.m. I'm not really a morning person. Well, maybe you could take part in our singing group. I've made a lot of good friends there. Um, I don't think so. Remember when we did karaoke? I can't carry a tune to save my life. Yeah, I remember. Well, I guess you'd better get used to waking up early. Just think of all the cute guys who go running in the park in the morning. Okay, very good. Very good. Now we are going to listen to it again just to practice, okay? Just to just to um listen again the pronunciation just the last time. The tune. Part A. Listen and practice. Are you going to Lena's party tonight? No, I don't think so. I don't really feel up to it. You haven't been going out much since you broke up with Carter. I guess not. He's friends with all my friends, you know. You need to meet new people. Have you thought about joining a running club? You love running. I've thought about that, but they meet at 6 a.m. I'm not really a morning person. Well, maybe you could take part in our singing group. I've made a lot of good friends there. Um, I don't think so. Remember when we did karaoke? I can't carry a tune to save my life. Yeah, I remember. Well, I guess you'd better get used to waking up early. Just think of all the cute guys who go running in the park in the morning. Okay, very good. Now I need two volunteers to practice the conversation. Dos voluntarios, only two. Me, teacher. Okay, zero and... Elizabeth, right? Okay, so Ciro, you begin, and then Elizabeth, and then we will have other two. Perfect, you can go ahead. Are you going to Lina's party tonight? No, I think, I don't think so. I don't really fall out to you. You haven't been going out much since you broke, broke, broke out with Car Carter? I just know he's friend with all my friends, you know. You need to meet new people. Have you thought about joining a running club? You love running. I've been thrilled about that, but they meet at 6 a.m. I'm not really more in person. Well, maybe you could take part in or sing singing group. I made a lot of good friends there. 
Mm, I don't think so. Remember when we did karaoke? I can carry a ton, a ton to save my life. Yeah, I remember where I guess you better get used to waking up early. Just being all the cute guy who go running in the party in the morning. That's okay. it, teacher. <laughs> very good, very good. Perfect, perfect. Very good. Elio, okay, we are going to continue with Elio. And I need someone else, Sandra. Okay, Sandra, Patricia. But first... Sandra Liu, uh, we are going to provide a little bit of feedback. Uh, everything was okay. The intonation was okay. But remember, uh, what is uh, two things, right? No, this is no. And also this is not, right? This is not. Yes, Cesar. Do you have a question? No. No, okay. No, no, no. It's only for participate. Participate. Okay, very good. So uh, mm -hmm. after you and Sandra, we are going to take other two, okay? So just for you to check, this is no, is this no? Is this, I guess, not, right? So that is different. And also the U, the U is, um, it's like an A, es como pronunciar una A en algunas palabras, pero es una A cerrada, ¿verdad? So for example, uh, I listen running, right? Running, running. It's not running, it's running. It's a U, aquí hay una U, yes, but mm -hmm. it's running. Also here next to running is club. In, in, in Spanish is club, it's okay, but in English is club, club, running club. You see, have you thought about joining a running club? You love running, you love running, perfect. And again here, right, I'm mm -hmm. not, I'm not. Es como una A abierta. I'm not. This is I'm no. Not. And this one is I'm not. And I'm this not is cool. this is this is difficult. This word I used to say karaoke, but it's karaoke, karaoke, yeah. right? Yeah. It's kind of difficult. Okay, now Eliu and Sandra, the next ones. You can begin, Eliu. Okay. Are you going to Lina's party tonight? No, I don't think so. I don't really feel out to it. You haven't been going out much since you broke up with Carter? I guess not. He's friend with all my friends, you know. You need to meet new people. Have you thought about joining a running club? You love running. I thought about that, but they meet me at say a n i'm not really a morning person well maybe you could take part in our singing group i made a lot of good friends there mm, i don't think so remember when we did karaoke i came carry a town to save my life yeah i remember well i guess you better get used to walking to waking up early just think of all the cute gay guys who go running in the park in the morning okay very good perfect perfect so let's see uh how do you say this number sandra six eight six exactly <laughs> six a.m I heard 6 a.m., right? But it's 6 a.m. Yeah, Perfect. <laughs> Very good. Me they, se me traba la lengua. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is true. It is, it's like you try to pronounce every word, but when you join them, it's kind of difficult. They meet at 6 a.m. Perfect. And another sound that is difficult is the TH when I say think, right? Because that sound doesn't exist in, in, in Spanish. Eso, eso es un, no existe en español. Think uh thought right that is difficult also okay caesar uh, i need someone else who participate with caesar otro voluntario another volunteer please one one volunteer to participate with caesar please okay rebecca Me. oh carlos okay carlos you can uh go after caesar and rebecca rebecca you begin and then caesar you continue okay are you going to Lina's party tonight? 
No, I don't think so. I don't really feel up to it. You haven't been going out much since you broke up with Carlton? I guess not. He's friends with all my friends, you know. You need to meet new people. Have you thought about joining a running pool? You love running. I thought about that, but they meet at 6 a.m. I'm not really morning person. Well, maybe you could take part in our singing group. I made a lot of good friends there. Mm, I don't see so. Remember when we did karaoke? I, I can't carry a tone to save my life. Yeah, I remember. Well, I guess you'd better get used to waking up early. Just think of all the cute guys who go running in the park in the morning. Okay, very good. Very good pronunciation. It was, it, it was better. Now, what we need to do in this case also, uh, besides knowing the pronunciation, is to memorize some of them. For example, uh, since, right? Sometimes we don't know how to say if it is science or if it is since, right? Because it, it seems it's like similar to science, right? But this is since, that's the right? Since. And you remember that I mentioned that sometimes you sounds like an A, like una cerrada, running, club, running, right? Uh, in this case, is not ton, is tune, right? Like iTunes, mm -hmm. do you know that? Okay. iTunes, so it's the same. iTunes, this is a tune. I can carry a tune, perfect. Now, very good, perfect, Cesar and Sandra. Now we are going to with, uh, or sorry, Rebecca. Now we're going to Zulma and Rafael. Are you okay. ready? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Zulma, you begin. Okay. Are you going to Lina's party tonight? No, I, I, I don't think so. I don't really feel up to it. You haven't been going out much since you broke up with Cora? Uh, I guess not. His friends were all my friends, you know. You need to meet new people. Have you true about joining a running club? You love running. I've talked about that, but they meet at 6 a.m. I'm not really morning person. Well, maybe you could take part in our thinking group, I made a lot of, of bad friends there. Um, I don't think so. Remember, when we did karaoke, I can carry a tune to save my life. Yeah, I remember. Well, I guess you better get used to waking up early. Just think of all the cute guy, cute guys who uh, go running in the park in the morning. Okay, very good, very good, perfect, perfect. You see, if we listen and listen and listen, and if we pay attention to the pronunciation, we better write every 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 time. Perfect. Now we know how to pronounce some of the words and some of the vowels. Right, vowels are kind of difficult in English. Now we are going to continue right now. Let's see here. Perfect, really, really good uh, conversation. We are going to finish uh, the section with this topic, right? Models and gerunds. What is a gerund? We already know this. So we are going to review a little bit. Uh, what is a gerund? Who remembers that? ¿Quién se acuerda qué es un gerund? Ya lo acabamos de ver la semana pasada. We just saw it last week, right? So what is a gerund? Uh -huh. ING. ING. Very good. It's a word. Yes, it's a word ending in ING. What else? What do you what else do you remember about gerunds? What else? Gerund is gerund is used when the say the the action is in the moment. Yes, we can use a uh, gerund also with present progressive where the action is in the moment. Perfect. Present progressive. And who remembers modal I, verbs? Yes. The, the gerund, we uh -huh. use gerund like, like an infinitive. It's the same meaning to the verb in the, in the basic form. 
uh, when the bed is used with two two off, for example, is is similar to to using the going. Exactly. If we say, uh, for example, I love to walk. I love walking. Right. We can say walking. That is a gerund perfectly perfect. And who remembers what a modal verb is? What is a modal verb? Do you remember that? A modal verb. What is that? There is a verb that can works with ability, permissions. I think I remember what it is. Very and good. Very, very good. Yeah. Yes, very good. Exactly. That is a modal verb that we can use with ability, with permission. We have different modal verbs. Very good. Perfect. So that's what we're going to study today. Uh, just to remember, a gerund is the ing form of a verb used as a subject or it can be an object also in a sentence for example running right running is my favorite form of exercise we like running so running is a general right we are running that is the present continuous right present continuous present present progressive right so this is is this is a correct sentence but this is not a gerund because this is a verb this is a verb. We are running is a verb. And here is a gerund. You see the difference? Running, correr is my favorite form of exercise. Aquí no dice corriendo, ¿verdad? Aquí sí dice corriendo. We are running. So that is the difference. This is a gerund. This is not a gerund. This is a verb. We like running. Nos gusta corriendo. No, ¿verdad? Nos gusta correr. We like running. Running is the activity, right? Is the gerund. This is the verb, the action. So um, we are going to see modal verbs also, right? Modal verb, what is a modal verb? Are special kind of helping verbs. So they help us, right? A modal verb helps the main verb to express the mood of the subject. And at the same time, it can indicate possibility, persuasion, ability, willingness, etc. right? We have can, could, will, would, may, might, must, should. So those are some of the verbs, right? Modal verbs. And as you were saying before, we can use it for ability, permission, advice, obligation, and possibility. So we can, uh, we have different modal verbs, right? For example, can and could is for ability. For example, I can speak English. That's an ability. Permission, can, could, and may, right? You can't go out tonight. You don't have permission, right, to go out tonight. You can't. Advice, sure, right? You should do your homework. Obligation, must or have to, right? People mustn't smoke in class. And possibility, might, may, could, and can. It might rain today. It might rain, okay? It may or it could, right, also. So as you can see, we have different modal verbs. So do you have any questions right now about modal verbs or gerunds, preguntas? Questions? Everything is clear? El have el el is modal verb. El have, el have. Which one? Have, has, el uh, verbo to no, that's that's an auxiliary verb, an auxiliary oh, verb. Oh, yeah. Auxiliary okay, verb. Yes, yes. Sometimes, uh, yes, it's kind of confusing. But uh, these are some of the modal verbs that we have, right? But has is an auxiliary verb. Perfect. Very good like question. Would. Like, yeah, would is that would is a modal verb, but, but this not ability. It's more like possibility, would. Okay. Yes, will is an auxiliary verb that can use can be used also like an uh, modal verb, but will probably is an auxiliary verb like e, like is running. Those are like auxiliary verbs, right? It's not the main verb, so they are uh, like they compound the the the, the tense. Ellos componen el el tiempo, verdad? Lo utilizamos para componer el tiempo, pero en este es eh, nos dice una habilidad, permiso, consejo. So it's a mood. Es un tipo, es un mood de el subject. That's the difference. So okay. making, so in this case, we are going to study uh, gerunds and modal verbs again, but 
to make suggestions, right? Para hacer sugerencias. Lo vamos a ocupar para hacer sugerencias. You can use modal verbs, gerunds, negative questions, and infinitives to make suggestions. Like, for example, uh, I want to sing, right? But I don't sing very good, very well. Everybody hates the way I sing. How to sing better? Maybe you could take singing classes. Maybe you could take singing classes, right? Could is a model, right? What about practicing at home? What about practicing? Practicing is a gerund. Why don't you watch videos on YouTube? This is a question and infinitive, right? It might be a good idea to start with easy songs, right? So those are suggestions. Vamos a hacer sugerencias. So with models, we can use could, for example. How to get in shape. For example, I want to exercise, right? Because a new year is coming and I want to be in shape. I want to be healthier. I don't know. Uh, suggestions, right? With models. Maybe you could join a gym. You could run in the park every day. Or maybe you could eat healthier, right? So those will be some suggestions with models. With could. That is the model, right? Could. Gerons. I would like to cook, right? So how would be, uh, how, what will be some suggestions, right? If I would like to learn how to cook. Love, for example, with gerunds, like what about watching cooking videos? What about watching, right? Watching is the gerund. What about trying some recipes from cookbooks? Have you thought about taking cookies, cooking lessons? Cooking lesson, the cookies lesson, right? Cooking lessons. If you can see in these sentences, what do you notice? We have what or have you thought? That is, that is the, the beginning of the question. And right after that, we have about. So after about, we have to write a, a gerund. Después de about, tenemos que escribir un gerund. Remember that. About watching, about trying, about taking, right? So it's very, very common to see this. Es muy común ver esto. Después de about, ver un gerund. Es muy común. And then the complement, right? Cooking videos, some recipes from cookbooks, cooking lessons, right? So those will be some ways to, to, make it, to make suggestions. Also with negative questions, right? I'm learning English. How can I improve my English, right? And we can ask questions in negative. Why don't you watch series and movies in English? ¿Por qué no mirar series en inglés, verdad? O películas en inglés, right? Why don't you make friends online to practice? Why don't you hire a private tutor? So you see, why don't you? Why don't you is a negative question. Why don't you? And then the verb and then the complement. You see, it's really easy to use. Learn how to drive. I cannot drive, right? I cannot drive my car. So how can I do it? We have infinitive, right? One option. One option is like a noun phrase, right? One option is to take driving lessons. You see the verb to be and after the verb to be is the infinitive. To take driving lessons. An a noun frame is again, right? Another option is to ask a friend to teach you. Or it might be a good idea to practice with race games. Well, I don't know if that's a good idea, but that is just a suggestion, right? Questions about this? Preguntas? Yes, I have two questions. Yes. But some meeting of means and most. Uh, I don't know. What is the meaning of? Sorry? Meal. Is uh, the last one. The last, the last, uh, the last uh, sentence, right? It might be. No, it might, might. It, it might, might, right? It might. Mm -hmm. Might is a model verb. Podría, right? Podría ser buena idea, right? It's Podría. the same of cold. Yes, exactly. Similar. It's similar. Exactly. And similar to could. Most. M U E S T must must okay. must. This is M U S T. I mm -hmm. have it here. Is for obligation. I must, for for example, 
people mustn't, this is in negative, right? People mustn't, la gente no debería, no debe. No debería es should, right? Debería es should y debe es must. You have to follow the rules, right? You must follow the rules. So that is deber. You have to do it. It's an obligation. Okay, thanks. Okay, another question about this, about gerunds, models. We are reviewing, right? Just a little bit. No questions? Okay, let's see, uh, Rebecca. If I want to sing better, what will be a suggestion? Give me one suggestion using a gerund, please. We have examples here. You can uh, you can take an idea of these examples. Puede tomar una idea de estos, pero quiero que me diga algo diferente, right? Something different, but with a with a gerund. Like for example, how yes, how can I sing better with a gerund? Using a gerund. Rebecca, are you there? Yes, yeah, sorry. Okay. <laughs> you should. Uh, we can, you can use this uh, structure, you see? What or have you thought about gerund or compliment? Or give me a suggestion about cooking, right? About cooking with this structure. What or have you thought about gerund and compliment? Give me one suggestion. Have you thought about... <laughs> no, have you thought about watching cooking lessons? Very good. Have you thought about watching cooking lessons? Very good. Have you thought about watching cooking lessons? Perfect. Let's see, Rebecca, choose another person. Escoja alguien más para que me ayude. Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Okay, now I want a suggestion to get in shape, right? Using could, right? An adverb, subject, could, verb, and complement. You can take an idea here, Elizabeth. Mm, maybe you call by the... If um tomorrow, maybe you could uh, buy the comprar the buy? kit uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow, a kit like an exercise gift, kit. Gift, gift, regalos, gift. Gift. Oh, in that that's good to get in shape. Eso está bien para ponerse en forma. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. <laughs> no, había visto que era para eso. Oh, okay. Yes, to get in shape. Um, maybe uh, I'll go running. Uh, no, I'll go work out tomorrow. <laughs> uh -huh. Maybe uh, I could go out tomorrow. We could go out and walk out, right? Tomorrow, very good. Maybe you could, you see, is the same. So we have to be careful because after could, we don't use a gerund, right? We The verb is the base form. It's, for example, here is could join, could run, could eat. You see, it's like in the present, it's the base form. Very good, Elizabeth. Choose someone else. Choose someone else. Let's go ahead and give us. Eliu. Okay, ready? Fuentes. Uh -huh. Okay, thanks. Okay, Liu Fuentes, I need a suggestion to improve my English. I want to learn English and I want you to tell me a negative question, right? With this uh, structure, why don't you verb plus complement? Okay, one, why don't you practice mm -hmm. repeating? No, why don't you, re you practice? You pra Practice reading, practice read a novel in English. Very good. Why don't you practice reading a novel, right? Or why don't you read a novel? Why don't you read a novel in English? Very good. Perfect, Elu. Perfect. Elu, choose someone else. Escoja alguien más. Zulma. Zulma. Zulma, are you there? Okay. Now I want a suggestion to learn how to drive. 
but with an infinitive, right? You can use noun phrases like these ones, be, infinitive, and complement. Uh, one option is to play in, no? One option is to, okay, to, to play in guitar is watching videos. One option is to play the guitar and watch videos. Uh -huh. And to play the guitar will help me to drive a car. I uh, know. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. So what would be a good, a good suggestion? I, I want to learn how to drive. What would be a good suggestion for you? Mm -hmm. eh, mm, no contestar el teléfono sería one option y tú. Eh, to take call. To take calls? To take call. Uh -huh. Okay. Eh, so, uh huh. <laughs> to driving lesson, I was saying. Okay, one option is to take driving lessons, right? To take driving lessons. Yes, that's good. That's okay. No problem. We are learning, but we have to pay attention in the structure, right? Noun phrases, we can start uh, the suggestion, right? With one option, another option, right? Is, and then infinitive is to take, right? Always with two, and then the base form of the verb to take to ask to practice and then complement right we have to be careful so it's different right now we are learning how to make suggestions we are going to um listen a uh, conversation right I, I want you to pay attention to this because you are going to practice later right now we are going to speak you are going to use your language van a usar su lenguaje lo que tienen the conocimiento in English to create a conversation again. Vocabulary that what we are going to use is bite. This is a verb, right? Bite, nail polish, band-aids. Como how how do you say this in, in Spanish? Band-aids? Curita, right? Band-aids. Tune in. Tune in is a phrasal verb, you see, to listen to something. For example, the radio, tune in. Craving. Craving is a feeling when you really want to eat or drink something. Also for addiction. Craving. Así como. Una ansiedad. Como ansiedad, exactly. Como que. Como es. Algo así como antojo, exactly. Yeah, craving. It will be something like, yes, como algo que se le antoja, como ansias, right? A shopaholic, a person who shops too much and has a problem or an addiction, right? A shopaholic is a person who buys everything, right? Freeze is a verb to make very cold to become solid. Debt. In this one, we don't pronounce the B. Aquí no vayan a pronunciar la B. No digan debt. Es solo la T al final, ¿verdad? Debt. When you are obligated to give something, uh, like for example, money, right? And the last, the last time, the last one is rack up. To accumulate is rack up, right? So this will be some of the vocabulary that we are going to listen here. And uh, we have here the information, right? The ing is the gerund. Remember that after about, we can use a gerund then the verb to be an infinitive, right? It might be helpful or one thing you could do is, and then we can use an infinitive here. And also a negative question, right? Why don't you? Or maybe you could, right? And then we can use an infinitive here. So these are, these are more examples about suggestions, right? What about painting your nails? Have you thought about putting band-aids on your fingers? Infinitive, it might be helpful to chew gum. The infinitive, normally we use it with the verb to be, right? That's why it's in red. One thing you could do is to get hypnotized. And then the base form, right? Why don't you cut your credit card in half? 
maybe you could freeze your credit card in ice. This is an modal verb, right? And also the question in negative, negative questions. Now we are going to listen to the video and then we are going to try to create a similar conversation using the vocabulary that we have learned. We are going to practice with a partner and try to do a role play similar to the one in the show. Tomorrow we are going to, uh, not, not tomorrow, tomorrow we are not going to have classes, don't worry. But we are going to listen to this and we are going to try to do something similar. Yes. Okay. So uh, we are going to play this video right now. And we are going to pay attention, okay, to this conversation. Harold. She's a licensed psychologist and she has a radio show called Fix It With Frida. In her show, people can call in and tell her about their problems and she gives them her advice. Let's listen to some examples of the calls she takes in her show. Hello caller, welcome to Fix It With Frida. What seems to be the trouble today? Hi doc. Yeah, well, the problem is I just can't seem to stop biting my nails. It's such an embarrassing habit. I hate it when people look at my hands. What can I do to stop? Hmm, yeah, that is a very tough habit to break. Well, have you thought about painting your nails? Most people stop biting their nails if they have polish on them. Um, I don't think that would work for me. I'm a guy, so that might look kind of weird. You know what I mean? Right, right, my mistake. Well, what about putting band-aids on your fingers? If you can't get to your nails, eventually you'll stop trying. Band-aids, huh? Well, I guess it won't hurt to try. Thanks, Doc. Y'all have a nice day. Okay, next caller. You're on the air. Tell us what we can do for you today. Hi, Frida. Well, the problem is that I've been smoking since I was in <coughs> kindergarten, and I think it's about time I stop. Any advice? Well, congratulations on making the decision to quit. That's not an easy one. Well, first, it might be helpful to chew on some gum whenever you get the craving to smoke. Yeah, I've tried that a million times. That hasn't really worked for me. You got anything else? Well, there has been some success with addiction and hypnotism. One thing you could do is to get hypnotized to help you stop smoking. Hypnotism, huh? Hmm. I've never tried that one. I'll give it a try. Thanks, Doc. Okay, and last caller for today. Hello, and welcome to Fix It With Frida. What can I help you fix? Hi, Frida. Well, the problem is I'm a bit of a shopaholic. Once a week, I can't help but go to the mall with my credit card, and I leave with like 10 bags. I'm starting to rack up a lot of debt. What should I do? Oh, that is a serious problem. Well, if you can't stop spending money, maybe you could just cut your credit card in half. Cut it in half? I don't know. I mean, what if I have an emergency or something and I need to use it? Okay, well, why don't you freeze it in a block of ice? You'll have it for emergencies, but you won't have easy access to it to go shopping. Okay, well, I guess that would work. I'm going to go put it in the freezer right now. Thanks, Rita. Okay, well, that's all the time we have for today. Those were some difficult problems, but I hope you'll use those suggestions to make a change. Tune in next time, listeners, and remember, you can always fix it with Frida. Okay, perfect. So you listen to um, the conversation, right? Do you have any questions right now about any of the callers? Preguntas, questions. We checked the vocabulary before. So we check this. We check also shopaholic, freeze, debt, tuning, band-aids, they publish, bad, and rack up. Do you have any question? 
or any other extra question? What does where, where mean? W-E-I-R-D, where? W-E, weird. weird. Weird, yes. Weird, yeah, that would, weird is com like strange, right? That would be strange. Okay. Yes, like strange, like, like not, not very common, right? That's weird, not very common, exactly. Now, another question? No more questions? Okay, perfect. So what we are going to do is we are going to practice on Monday because tomorrow no classes, right? You are going to be able to, to rest. So we are going to practice on Monday. We're going to do something similar. One person will be like, the, like Frida, right? One person will try to solve a problem and the other person will call you. You're on the radio station and let's say that somebody's calling you and you are uh, trying to fix a problem, right? So probably you're a shopaholic, probably you have problems again, uh, like eating healthier, you want to eat healthy, or you have problems with your English, right? You can think during these uh, three days that we're not going to have classes, how can we develop like this kind of um, conversations, right? You, you can just write some ideas and you can bring them on Monday. And on Monday, we are going to uh, we are going to do like a role play, right? Something like that, because one will be like Frida. One person will try to fix the problem and another person will try to, to provide this kind of problem. So we are going to work in pairs, right? We are going to, to speak on Monday. So uh, also we are going to review a little bit of what we studied today. Vamos a hacer un repaso, ¿verdad? Para que ustedes se acuerden. And we are going also to play a listening if we have time. So you can uh, listen to another conversation and also you will be able to, to provide or, or you will be able to, to improve probably your pronunciation in that way and you listen in. So that's what we are going to do on Monday. So on Monday, you can prepare, you can start. Uh, I will share this information with you today. Esto se lo voy a compartir hoy. So you can review it, you can check it, all of this. You can review also the conversation if you click here in the link you will be able to listen to it again, right? So we are going to do that. And uh, before finishing the class, I don't know if you have any question about the platform at the beginning of the class, we fixed some problems here. We have problems with this, right? Uh, section part B, uh, sorry, section B part, part one. And uh, the problem is that the apostrophe was not, not was not being accepted by when we, when we write the apostrophe with a keyboard is not accepting it so you can uh, copy the apostrophe here and you can paste it here pueden copiar el apostrofe que está aquí y pegarlo en la respuesta si siempre le sale mala uh, we also do this or we also did this in this part part three section c in this one one need we copy the apostrophe here and we paste it here because the apostrophe was showing it as incorrect. So that is something that we learned today that we can copy the apostrophe because if we write the apostrophe on our keyboard, it was showing that it was incorrect. So I don't know if you have any other question about the platform or the, the information that we studied today. Questions? Would you, would you like to repeat? Uh, the pronunciation of uh, uh, chopolac, uh, chopolac Shopa, shopaholic, shopaholic, but a chopaholic or chopaholic, the a, that uh, is, uh, uh, yeah, a shopaholic is un shopaholic, yeah, or it's, it's like a shopaholic, but you can say, I am a shopaholic, I am a shopaholic, Yes, okay. I am a shopaholic. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I, I <like> that. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Another question? No more questions? Okay, so remember, on Monday, we are going to practice. On, el lunes van a crear una conversación rápidamente, no se vayan a tardar tanto, así como la que escuchamos hoy, ¿verdad? Un problema va a ser uno y el otro lo va a tratar de resolver. So we are going to work together. And we are going to try to use the vocabulary and also the structures that we study today, making suggestions with negative questions, with infinitives, with gerunds, 
and with models. So I will see you on Monday. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your commitment and have a nice weekend, okay? Teacher, you too. Okay. Good night. Thank good. you, teacher. Have a good night, everybody. Good night, everybody.